Even before this rough winter in the east and south and the current drought in the west, extreme weather had been pushing food prices up over the past several years. Even so, the government's consumer price index is showing little or no inflation. Well, try telling that to shoppers in the supermarket checkout line. Here's Michelle Miller. I'd like the government to stop by my house, come food shopping with me, and see where the real costs are. Writer Jen Singer, mother of two teenage boys, wrestles with her grocery list every week to keep the household budget from getting away from her. We go through one of these every couple of days. It's a big part of my take-home pay. An apple a day, can't afford it at these prices. Save 90 cents. It's not her imagination. While the government says prices are up 6.4 percent since 2011, chicken is up 18.4 percent, ground beef up 16.8 percent, and bacon has skyrocketed up 22.8 percent. Oh my God! Making it a holiday when it's on sale. Bacon for three bucks. Things that are going up in price are the things that I absolutely need to buy. It's the meat. It's the milk. It's the eggs, and it's getting out of hand. $8.32 for this. Convergex market strategist Nick Colas. Moms can really tell the government a lot about inflation. Food inflation is far greater than the government thinks it is. But the big problem for families, wages are not budging. If the, my income isn't going up, how am I going to keep up with inflation? Median income is up only 1% a year. For Singer, that makes it hard to save for college tuition, which has been rising 6 to 8% every year for five decades. The price of college is terrifying. And so we're looking at cheaper schools or scholarships, I hope. Um, you know, run faster in track. That would really help me out a lot. Many are concerned that while economists paint a benign picture, middle-class families are quietly struggling. The disconnect is severe because it's the economists that make policy, but it's the people that have to live with the outcome of that policy, and that disconnect is growing to the point where I think it has to break soon. Now I keep the heat down. We might as well wear a parka around here because it's the only way I can save money on heating. As the costs go higher and the budget battle continues... Now this is a great price. Every now and then, baby, six dollars, a victory. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.